Hi. Welcome to TJ and Jody's house. Not just any old TJ and Jody's house. This is the debut of TJ and Jody's house for the year 2022. Yippee. Of our Lord. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. You know what? It feels like we're still at the end of 2021, Jody. Doesn't it feel like it, it that? It still feels like that. Yeah. I don't know. Considering that we're recording this in the end of 2021, yeah. it's airing in the 2022. Have we been doing this since February? I don't know. Oh my goodness. I think we have. It's going well. <laughs> I can hear it in your voice. Yeah. You think you think the same way that it's going well. It's going well. TJ and Jody's house, sponsored by Josh's Farmers Market in Mooresville, North Carolina. Yep. And um, you know, I got to be honest. I'm not prepared for anything today. Mm-hmm. I'm not prepared for any of your crap, Jody. I'm not okay. prepared to deal with your condescension and your hate. And whatever else. Uh, but you know, by the time you get in here and start doing this this show with me, <laughs> I've been dealing with the rest of these prima donnas all the morning long. And mm-hmm. so you're refreshing. It sounds you, like as it. As you come in here as a, uh, a breath of fresh air mm-hmm. of um, no ego, and none of that. And uh, that's why Mr. Todd loves coming in here on on the days that we record oh because i have no ego and you're a breath of fresh air breath of fresh air you're Mm. fresh faced i am fresh faced so fresh and so faced Uh it's great Mm -hmm. i don't feel Uh fresh but yeah jody's not feeling well Mm -mm. she's um fighting off something not covid it's cold omicron no I don't know. Maybe Omicron. Is Omicron like a cold? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it, No one has died of Omicron. Yeah. Don't say that. Okay. I won't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yes, no. all statistics, all data uh, reports that Omicron is mild. Okay. Um, especially for people who have been vaccinated or people who are like we are, Jody, and have what is called natural immunities. Right. We have the antibodies. Right. Now, I always have an anti-good body. (laughs) My body is anti-good. Yeah. It's it's bad. But we have the good antibodies. Right. So. Yeah. Bring it on, all of you colds and flus and everything. No, we don't need to bring it on. I will whip their asses. Mm, You know I will. Okay. okay. Uh, we have some uh, really funny stuff this week. Um, something that I don't even know what it is. Jody came in and started talking about it, and I said, "Hold on, <laughs> don't don't tell that yet until we get on the show, so we can you can share it with everybody, and I will be your captive audience." Oh, thanks. As I normally am. No, it's not normally how it goes. Oh, Jody, um, I'm hanging on your every word, twenty four seven. I am so in tune with every sigh and eye roll that you give me. I know exactly what they mean. It's kind of like when a baby's crying and you know your baby so well and you know when it's a hungry cry or a sick cry or a mad cry. That's the way I am with your, you know, those things that you do. Mm-hmm. I always know what it means and I and I do everything I can to fix it immediately. Do you? Yep. Mm-hmm. Or at least I try. Okay. Evidently I fail at that. <laughs> as well as everything else when it comes to you. Oh, wow, wow. Move All right. on. So we got more coming up. Hang on. TJ and Jody's house. Deutsche Beverage Technology started with simple core values at our foundation of providing quality equipment, a value-centric price point, along with industry-leading customer service. Through the process of working with and listening to our customers' needs as well as expectations, we have crafted our business in order to meet the turnkey needs of our clients. We are not just a custom equipment supplier, but rather a full service partner within the industry. Through the use of our in-house engineering teams, as well as fabrication teams, we are able to provide our customers with utility infrastructure and construction recommendations, on-site fabrication and repairs, systems integration and expansion needs for the life of your business. We strive to help improve as well as grow this industry we all love. And we here at Deutsche Beverage 
want to be your first call for any needs within your facility. TJ and Jody's house. Hey. Okay. Oh. Here we are. Yep. Again, Jody, very face and fresh and fresh faced, taking on the day. <laughs> um, you do have a lot to do today, don't you? I do. And you're meeting up with our daughter who's home from college to do mm-hmm. something today mm-hmm. in between your appearance here yeah. for the millions. Yeah. <laughs> All these millions. This droves of screaming, rabid fans of, uh, of Jody. Yeah. No. Okay, so seriously, how are you feeling? Because you were, uh, you've been getting a little, <laughs> a little thing going. Well, so on my vacation to Nashville last week, I got there and my sister was coughing and coughing and coughing and coughing, and we had to share a bed. Do and I said, if you, I swear, if you get me sick, I'm going to kill you. And she said, um, it's heaven. It's just a little cough, and I don't feel anything else. Blah, 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 blah. So, really, that's how it mm-hmm. sounds. And um, so, sure enough, she le- she flew out on Monday. I was fine. Tuesday, Lainey and I got up and uh, left to drive back. Stopped to see Boy at school and have lunch with him. And I started that coughing. Mm-hmm. Just a little, you know, a little dry cough. And then... I just felt run down. Some of it, I think, though, is just, you know, you, you don't think it's a big deal, but it's an hour time change, so they're an hour behind. I think that was it. Plus, I drove, and I don't know. I was just tired. Yeah. We were in bed early every night, though. Jody has a t- uh, sign. A, a t- uh, what do you call it? Tell, tell. A tell is that whenever she goes, <coughs> <coughs> that that means within the next couple of days, she's going to be full on cold. Cold, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I but, mean, I mean, I don't, I don't feel bad. I mean, I do feel tired, but I didn't sleep well last night. Did you take the Nyquil? No, I forgot. Uh, you know, you, let me you, tell you what happened. I got home yesterday, oh, and all you could talk about God. was, "I'm taking Nyquil tonight. I'm gonna take Nyquil." I know. You said it ten times. I know, but listen, what happened? I was upstairs watching TV, and I fall asleep like an old woman. Mm-hmm. And then I woke up, and I'm like, oh, and I just forgot, and I came to bed. But then shortly after, I was awake and awake and awake. And the other thing is, when the kids are home and they're out, and I know they're, I know they're going to come back in. I don't sleep well because I, I want to make sure that everybody's where they need to be. Mm-hmm. So until I know, there, you know, if I wake up in the night and I look on uh, Life Three Hundred and Sixty, and I know you moms know what that is, and dads, um, that you'll and I see where everybody's where they need to be, then I can go to bed. Otherwise, yeah. uh-uh. nope. So I didn't sleep well with that. Then I would doze off and start coughing. And for some reason, my back's hurting me. And then, and then I'm like, well, is it, could be from sitting in the car. I don't know what all it is. It sounds like body aches to me. No, it's not body ache. From it's, the I know fluvid. A, I know that, I know the difference. And then, um, okay. then I fell asleep and I believe I woke up to um, the foxes mating because we discussed are mating. we discussed how they sound. Oh, yeah. yeah, it sounds like an elephant almost. Because we moved out into the country like, and we told this story a few weeks ago on the show um, about the lady that lives across the street coming and telling us about all the foxes that are around there, and she treats them as pets and all that and i see them every morning over in her driveway this morning they were laid up like right by her door like dogs oh okay but uh yeah but this todd was telling hang on a second todd explain so todd was telling us the other night when or a few weeks ago yeah when uh when he was at our house with his lovely fiance uh carrie that they he has foxes around his house and and he has a recording of what they sound like when they're making noise in the night. And I had heard this before, so but I didn't know this was a mating thing. Got mic on? Hang on, let's see. Yeah, go ahead. Check. All right. I'm going to I'm asleep. Yeah. Is that what it sounded like? Yeah. Because that's what it sounded like that morning I was up getting ready for work. It is loud. It echoes. It's very loud. Yeah. But is that what it is? They're mating? Or, it's, I mean, or is it's a mating like, call. 
Or is that no? I no, think it's just. It says it says it's a call used by adult foxes to warn the cubs and other foxes of danger. Yes. Yeah, so they weren't. Get your mind out of the gutter, Jody. They weren't out there making the. It was never in the gutter. You said they were mating, having the relations out I there. I thought that was just a call saying I want to mate. I didn't mean they were in the oh, here's one. rows. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like a screaming lady. Maybe. But it sounded honestly like a little bit like an elephant. Like an elephant? Like when it goes, I don't know how to do the sound. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah like that's that. what it sounded like. Oh, and it went. It didn't sound like that. And you were up. Oh my god, maybe it? we got elephants in the yard. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, we got deers. We got foxes. I mean, we got gray foxes. I've seen those. Yeah, you said that's we got, pretty. We got birds. Lots of birds. <laughs> Oh, what was that? Oh, oh, was that your mating I call? I did not Todd? hear that. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like he, he was mating. That was a guy on the YouTube video. That's mm -hmm. freaky that I'd wake up to. Yeah. yeah. Really You want freaky. me to shoot him? No. Leave him alone. Me? I bet if you lose enough sleep, you'll be out there. You'll be going, get out there and kill him. If I lose enough sleep, I'll do it. I'm telling you. But that was this morning while I was up. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear all that. I heard you coughing and everything, but I didn't. I, didn't I know, hear. and you were so sweet. You came in there and brought me a bottle of water. I know. Aww. I know. So nice. You know, you can always tell. It's like a baby. <clears throat> I heard that the first thing I heard. And then I thought, oh, Lord, bless her heart. And then I heard you coughing, and I <clears throat> thought you might have been kind of still asleep. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I didn't know if you needed... Uh, Mucinex or something. I do. I need something like that, but I haven't you taken. Sure, it's it. not COVID. Yes. No, God. she's not. Who would be sure? No, you can't be sure. I have you antibodies. Can't be son. sure. But uh, let's go back to your sister being the one that caused it. You know, and she works in a hospital. All though she's in the medical and field. She's fully vaccinated. She, yeah, she works in the hospital. Yeah, cleaning it. Yeah, cleaning it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh -huh. You know what he did when we were gone? So I sent him the picture of, of the three of, of us, Lainey, my sister, and me. And um, I said, oh, look, this might make you happy this morning. He sends it back and cuts out my sister's face and says, <laughs> yeah, this does. <laughs> she said, I can't stand him. <laughs> But I mean, that's uh, you're that, so hateful. That's such you know Louisiana philosophy. I'm not sick. It's just a cough. I'm not going to get you. You know whatever. And you know, meanwhile, she thinks that she's not contagious because she went out in the backyard and buried you know some sort of an herb and a root and did a dance around it. Some kind what? of voodoo crap. He's he's being some dramatic. kind of mess. Nobody like, does I'm, that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm not contagious. It's just a cough. Cough. She didn't say contagious. She just said, I just have a cough. Oh, not sick. Is that what she said? She just said, I have a cough. Mm -hmm. And it was a dry cough. Ooh, oh. a COVID cough. Yeah. <laughs> the dry cough. Those are the ones that are just, they're not contagious. I feel like everything is that, though. What? COVID. Yeah. Runny nose, sore throat, cough, body ache, headache, mm -hmm. uh, walking. But uh, does it feel like... Uh, <laughs> Does it feel like you you did when you had the COVID? No. No, 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 no. no. Mm -mm. If you got it, you get, you're healthy. And I sick, I can, big deal. I, I'm telling you I have antibodies. I just had them I tested. Know. I know. And they, they did well on that test, your antibodies. Mm -hmm. Passed with flying colors. <laughs> but, but, but she studied and crammed for that antibodies test like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> I was so proud of her. Right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, sir. And you look extra pretty today. Oh my goodness! Thank Even you. Even though you're look at that all the way through the sickness and everything, so pretty. I just think you're you see me looking like a no. piece of trash all the time walking around the house. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Uh huh. I think these lights that Mr. Todd has had installed do wonders. I do too. I no, do I'm too. kidding. <laughs> no, I really yeah, do. I really do. It. No, not at all. Especially this little one in my face. Mm -hmm. You and you know what? Uh, it's kind of greenish yellow today. There's one over here. I probably like jaundice. Like when when we record the TJ and Jody's house podcast, I move over to Ace's desk, and Jody sits at my desk. Well, Todd has these two lights that are put on the desks that shine right up in our faces. <clears throat> well, Ace has the app on his phone that turns on and off, and I finally got him to understand the other day that 
it turns both of them on and off. So he's trying to turn it on himself. Mm-hmm. And meanwhile, it's coming and hitting me in the face, Ooh. and I don't want it on. And then so, it's like I'm at a club. I know, the tide I know. comes in, makes it blink, and you know, back and forth. But um, I was like, oh, I don't want that. On. Can we unplug mine? And he goes, oh, I didn't know this one controlled yours. Too. That's and funny. Yeah, Why um, is he turning it on when we're not filming? We were filming something the other day. It was, oh. We were trying to do he it with our with our phones. You want purple? He was. Oh, um, yeah, I like that kind of. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but oh no. So, That's good. Uh, but I do know that um, I'm guessing that by the end of you know, I'd say the next day, mm-hmm. you'll probably be like needing to stay home and rest. Really, I got, mm-hmm. I cannot. I really can't. I have so much to do. Hmm. Mm-mm. Tying up loose ends for Christmas. I've got stuff. To, I know this isn't going to run till January, but yeah. What kind of loose ends? Um. Oh, you got another party you're going to tonight. Yeah. And then you got a a, a big get together. Oh my gosh, it was wonderful. You got a big get together tomorrow. I have a yeah friends. I have a lunch and then and then uh wedding planning. Mm -hmm. Mr. Todd, have you Mm-hmm. I need to get up with her. Okay. Mr. Todd going to be involved, too. So Jody is the, the uh, <laughs> official <laughs> wedding planner. Which I've never done in my life. Friend's wedding. When this and she reco- Saturday. Yeah. yeah. So she recommended Mr. Todd as the video guy. Sure did. Jody recommended a really good friend of ours as the DJ. I did. And um, <laughs> do you want to tell what you've had to explain to um the the mom and the bride <laughs> about our kind of people. I mean, I don't want to upset anybody. I, I, I you, just you wouldn't upset anybody. Okay. Well, I just said she's <laughs> like me. The bride's mom is like me, and um, organize, we, mm-hmm, go by a. A list, very type, type A. a. Yeah. Like we like lists. We like to have things organized. We like things done yesterday. You know, and and. We're we are all well aware of it. The bride's the same way. I'm it's not artsy people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you talking about me? Well, you. I don't know. I don't know yet. You, the DJ, are like you, um, the she's husband. Pointing to me, yeah. And 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 kind of well, yeah. And so I just um, I had to explain to her. Listen. Th- these types of people, because I live with one, mm-hmm. are not going to call you and plan a month ahead. They're just not. Like detailed. 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 They then. have done this enough to know what they are doing, and they wait till the last minute, and it's spectacular. <laughs> and it's true. Okay. I 100% believe that. Like yeah. people who function like that, he... Richie, whatever your name mm. is, TJ. <laughs> I never know what to call you yeah. on these things. I call you Richie at home. Mm-hmm, but, fine. I mean, you can plan last minute for anything. Like, he could be doing a big, um, like, a, a a presentation in front of a, hundreds of people. And I'm like, D- have you prepared? Have you done? No, no, no. Day of, no. On the way there, have you prepared? Kind of. I mean, I'd be throwing up. Get there, it's spectacular. It's with anything he does like that. And it's, and I've, so I've lived with somebody for 20 something years like that. I've learned that's just how he, that's good. And that's how he functions. I do not. I would have a panic attack. I would be crying. I would, I would be a disaster. So I explained to the bride's mom, listen, I know these people, (laughs) they're going to be, they they function like Richie does, and um, just warning her don't don't be upset. Don't if, be upset. If, it's if, gonna be all fine. But and, and even even anybody that is helping that's artsy, you know, decorators, <laughs> decorators or anything, they're any gonna they're gonna wait till the last minute. But it's gonna be fantastic because this is the first wedding that they've done. It's her first kid that's ever gotten because they've never planned a wedding yeah and so jody's like all right now knowing that you're type a and y'all are going to want this person to know give you this information at this day and da 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 da, it's not going to happen no don't expect that you're going to be disappointed you're going to be frustrated it's not going to happen no 
No, and whereas like, like I've I, done eulogies where oh, the, yeah, that morning yeah. I would wake up and write down yeah. a few notes on a on a um, you know the back of a notepad or something. Yeah, and Jody be like, I'm, "It's amazing." She's like, to me. "This is my grandfather's eulogy." <laughs> I know, <clears throat> I got but it's, it. I it's got such it. a it really is a gift because it you know I wish I could be like that. I just. You don't want to be like me. Like, all the preparation no. and the worry and the stress and the thinking, it's just ridiculous. But, 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 but because of that. But we couldn't do the other stuff. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like if there had to be a wedding done by my organizational skills <laughs> and planning, then, then everybody would just be living in sin. Or packing or unpacking. I'm finding yeah. out real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, so anyway, I have a meeting on Friday with the the bride and the mom to go over they met with the dj saturday i don't know what happened but i need <laughs> i gotta find out yeah, he probably just said sure whatever yeah, you want whatever. Yeah, we're good like, you were good yeah, you know it's drew right todd yeah, yeah. it's drew and he's, we've worked and he's with so great he's he's my favorite oh, he, i lo- adore not him just one of your favorite not your favorite dj but one of your favorite people yes of all time. i adore him um and he's gonna be great it's gonna be fantastic he's done a million weddings he knows everything and when to do it and the timing but because of me and my personality i'm going over there tomorrow and i i even specifically said to her i'm gonna come meet with y'all i'm very old school i'm gonna need a clipboard the day of <laughs> I need to know who's delivering what, when, and who's supposed to be where, when, and phone numbers. Because if something happens and these things aren't there, I'm going to handle it. I do not want you knowing. I do not want the bride knowing. I'm going to handle it, which I'm I'm totally fine with. But I gotta I gotta prepare and ha- and by the way, I've never done a wedding, nor will I ever do another one. <laughs> not because of them, but I think they're great. But. It's, it's just stressful. not, it's very yeah. stressful. Well, can I make a request, please? Can you put me on the list that doesn't want to know about any of the <laughs> stuff that you're talking about, the problems, if some problem comes up? I'm not telling you. Okay, good. That's, that's, so I want to be on that list. we together a lot that day. Yeah. Are I'm, you? I'm going to be leaning on you to tell me when and where, what's going on, so mm-hmm. I can film it. I'm you know what else? To lean on. I'm going to go ahead and tell him what I said about the difference between him and Drew the DJ. Okay. Uh, what? Oh, don't. That's going to be sad. No, it's not sad. I didn't say anything bad about him. What? I told her that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why do I feel like this is a bad it's thing? Not, no, it's not. It's a bad not. Thing. I just said that the difference between the two of you, you're both great at what you do and you're mm-hmm. not going to, you know, be like she just said. Uh, but I said Todd is more sensitive than Drew is as a person. Todd's more sensitive. So, and I said, if somebody if somebody barks at Todd, he's going to feel it more than if somebody bark at barks you. at Drew. I make sure Am nobody right? barks. You're I more guess. sensitive about I stuff. I'd be the one he's, barking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I don't. I, and I would never bark. You know, I would not oh, bark. I it. If I did bark at you, though, it was bad. I know. Mm-hmm. It, like that means like you yeah. better do but whatever. I, mean, I don't even think <laughs> that you would. I don't even think you would have to yell at him or anything. No, but, that, that, but I'm just saying it, he. He would think you're mad at him whether you're yelling or not. Oh, no, he no. Yeah, he's very he's he's very sensitive. He's yeah. he's fragile. Well, I just know it's gonna be great. He's gonna <laughs> no do a kidding. great job. <laughs> he's not fragile. If he was fragile, he wouldn't be able to hang around with us. If yeah. I was fragile, yeah. yeah. True. Mm-hmm. That's true. True. But uh, and you know, Drew was probably like when they asked stuff, he's probably like, yeah, okay, well, mm-hmm. sure, sure, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But I'm looking. Uh, wait, and then this is in how many weeks? Well, when this airs, it'll be in days. Oh, God. It'll be five days. You act like you're going to be in it or something. Well, you're going to show your butt got, up, have a drink, and sit down. I got to go get a suit. I got to oh, do I got to. He always has to get a suit. I know, because in case you haven't noticed, my, my weight fluctuates. Mm. Then fluctuates. you should have every size it, of suit. It, but I'm at a fluctuation. I swear. I'm at a fluctuation now that I've never been. So, Well, add it to that, your collection. Yeah. I don't. I gave a lot of my suits away. Remember, we moved. I gave them to the bride's father. Well, as a get matter of fact, I know he's going to be them. wearing one of my damn suits at his daughter's wedding. Mm. No. Did you remember I put that jacket on and you were like, mm, "No, not anymore." And our daughter is yeah. in the wedding. <laughs> yeah, she is. It's 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 our daughter's. This is let's see. It's our daughter's boyfriend's sister mm-hmm. getting married. So, future sister-in-law. I don't know about that. And they're Italian, <clears throat> so you know that's a problem. Oh 
my goodness. That's fa- fantastic. I love it. I love the food, the dance, and the yeah. partying. I love it. Wear her Kevlar to the it's reception. Gonna be fun. <laughs> it's going to be fun. They're about the food. Are. I know. And in the ice picks. <laughs> <laughs> Am, am I everybody that I meet on his side of the family or on uh, their fam at their family that I haven't met before? I, I got to kiss them on the mouth. No, kiss the rings. But, I'm, <laughs> but, I, but don't Italians kiss everybody on the mouth? I Men don't and think women. So. I've seen that in movies. I was going to say to sit in a movie. Mm-hmm. No. Well, why is his mama, um, his mama Lainey's okay. boyfriend's mama, always trying to kiss me on the mouth? I'm sure. Gross. That doesn't have anything to do with her Mm-mm. being Italian. Mm-mm. Oh. Mm-mm. Well. I had to know that. I thought I was going to be insulting to her culture if I didn't kiss her back. But <laughs> Anyway, the wedding's going to be beautiful. You know how woke I try to be. So that's what else I've been doing. It's fun. Well, I just want to let everybody know, I talked about this on the regular old show, oh. uh, what a big event, a uh, big step in um, in my life we had when I went outside and actually met and talked to a neighbor. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was a man neighbor, too. It wasn't me trying to flirt it up with a woman neighbor. It was the man neighbor. Mm-hmm. I flirted it up with him. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. <laughs> and I liked it. I liked the little exchange we had mm-hmm. back and forth, to and fro, you know, a little social interaction there. Yeah. That was good. Because it was all complete in like 10 minutes. No, because mainly. <laughs> so he's he happy. Could, you could tell he was an intelligent. He's an intelligent person. Yes. And you know how I knew? Because hmm. he laughed every time I said something that was supposed to be funny. That's so how you smart. judge that. Of course. People don't know your humor he, sometimes. But he, but he did. And but he, that doesn't he, mean that they're not smart yes, if they don't. Of course it does. It means they're idiots. Ew. If I say something that's funny and clever and they don't get it, that means they're dumb. <laughs> you know that, Jody. Or maybe they think it's not funny. That would mean they're dumb. No, it doesn't. Because obviously it's funny every time. Or I wouldn't say it. I don't laugh all the time, and I'm not dumb, boy. Oh. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> I know he's sick. <laughs> Stop! I hate that. Well, I I think it's so commendable for you to be doing all this for this wedding and not uh-huh. charging them out the wazoo. <laughs> Wazoo is an Italian I, word. Because I by really the way. don't know what I'm doing, so let's just see how it goes. No, I mean, yeah, what what are you going to do? I mean, I just told you. You're just going to be running around. Hey, you need to be here. You I need also to be found there. Found the preacher. Yep, sure did. Dang, you're one man shop. One well, man hey, shop. look, if you need anything <laughs> around in this area where we live, anything from people to put a roof on your house to a preacher to perform your wedding, just Jody has it. I got you covered. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm a walking Sheets Yelp. Up. So. <laughs> <laughs> that should be your slogan. Yeah. But, you know, however um, much I'm not out mixing it up with people socially and all, Jody makes up for it. She balances that. Mm-hmm. I like talking to me I know, people. I love it. I, I love it. And I love that you do. I really do. Because mm-hmm. that keeps me from having to do it. Mm-hmm. Right. You're my connection. Yeah. You're my connection to the world. Yeah. Jody. Yeah. May Richie. I call you Jody? I don't know. Richie. But that May is the first Richie? this is the first time you've really had a struggle with having to call my name on, on the podcast. I, I think. know, it's weird. Because uh, I know I they say, know you as T J and when I right. say Richie, it's weird. But mm-hmm. if if I'm gonna do it, they need to know like I say Richie. Yeah. Well you can make it easy and, and just call me all the time what you call me at home, butt wipe. I do. I know. <laughs> Such and a that's not kind. Even this morning when I knew you were choking in there and coughing, and I took you some water, and you said, thank you, butt wife. <laughs> I did not. I did not. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, butt wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did not. Did. Yes, you did. All right. We got to take a break. More from TJ and Jody's house next. What's Share Funny? It's a show from TJ that's funny enough to share on social media. Hear Share Funny live from 9 to 10 Eastern, 8 to 9 Central, each weekday morning on the Ace and TJ button. Available on our app and now on iHeartRadio. 
Let's go. It's DJ and Jody's house on the Radio Button Network. Hi. Hello. Hmm. So Lainey and I, I think, are having a uh, father-daughter night tonight. Really? I'm gonna I'm gonna learn her how to cook some something. She's gonna learn how to cook. What? Um. Uh, the chicken and spaghetti, Louisiana chicken and spaghetti. Okay. Which has never been my favorite. I've never been a big fan of that dish. A lot of people in Louisiana love it. My brother loves it. Mm-hmm. And uh, he used to cook it for the family, and my nana would just flip out over it, you know. Mm-hmm. But it's never been my thing, so that's why I've never really okay. bothered with it. She made us a healthy meal last night, and I yeah. loved it. Uh huh. It was delicious. Yeah, she's, she's about uh, eating healthy. Mm hmm. And we have this new stove, uh, and you'll see it uh, on uh, the TJ Cooking Show that we're going to be doing in the new year that's gonna be so fun but it's got I'm not gonna be involved no you're not no you i'm really be, not you won't be, in be there at all and we're also going to do other little segments to it where sometimes after i get through cooking the meal there's going to be a guest coming <gasps> in and sit down and eat the meal Isn't with me that cute? and we'll we'll be talking and all of that and you won't even be part of that no ever Mm-mm. This, is it. Keep, Look, yeah. this is it i'm one and done here i know and you act like that's your choice which is cute <laughs> It is cute because I could leave <laughs> right now. Take right. my purse. No, but I'm out. just saying that you know the the fact that you're only you know you know sequestered into this one little area of the network is not your choice. It's m- my choice as the what? head of the show. What are you saying? <laughs> Use your words. I'm, I am using them. No, you're not. You're doing yes, this I am. mess I with your hands. If you're, the fact that you're only on one show is not a decision that you've made. It's a decision that I've made. Oh, it I've is a made. decision I've made. If you wanted to be on another show, then I don't it be. Would, that's what I'm saying. But that decision has already been made for you. That's not one that you, you like, like I could say, I've decided oh, not to uh-uh. play for the Atlanta Braves <laughs> next year. Okay, it's my decision not to play for it the Braves. It is my decision to be sitting here right now. Yes. Not yours. I know that. Okay. But it's my decision that you're not sitting on other shows and doing other things. Okay. That's all I'm saying, so we agree. Okay. I mean, a little of you goes a long way, Jody. is what I'm saying. <laughs> if you want me to use my words, those are the words. Mm-hmm. A little dab of Jody will do you. A fraction of you goes a, a freaking dab, long way. A dab of Jody will do you. Oh, is all. God. That's what the research shows. Okay. In the, Good. In the, in the research department. Good. Of researching. You don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> Running that mouth. <laughs> but no, anyway, Lainey uh, hasn't really gotten used to the new stove yet. And it's a like a professional kind of industrial kitchen stove. And so last night she's trying to light one of the burners, and I'm over in the um, living room area, and I hear, uh-huh, I heard it, where it's trying to light and it's not lighting, and then uh, she finally goes, "I never know," and I start going, "Stop, stop!" I heard you say, "Do you smell gas?" Yeah, she filled the whole room with gas because when oh you're holding that God. thing down and it's gas is coming out, it's just not igniting. So then I said, "Wait, wait, you got to give give it a minute before you fire." I'll just use another burner. Don't hit it yet. So I want to make sure, you know, you don't blow up something. But then it smelled like gas in there for a while. Uh, and not the, not the way Jody usually has it smelling like gas. Whatever. <clears throat> Did you talk about, um, you know, all those horrible tornadoes that went through? Did you talk about how they went through Nashville? Yes. And how we were in the bathroom at 3 a.m.? Mm-hmm. I did. It was bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, because we were out. On that Friday, and it was kind of warm, which my sister and me, being from Louisiana, we know, like, if it's warm like that in December, it's probably going to be a storm. And poor Lainey, all day, she was like, it's going to be bad. It's gonna be, we're just like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. Let's keep, you know, we just went on about our business. So she's still watching. She keeps up with all that. I went to bed. My sister and I both went to bed. at th- It was about 3 o'clock. She goes, Mom. And all she said was, Mom. And we both went, what? 
<laughs> I mean, like when your mom is like, and she said, it's the tornado is coming. And as soon as she said that, all of our phones start going off. The siren in the town went off. Um, I got a text message from her college saying, uh, students must take shelter. Tornado is headed to campus, which is not far from her apartment. So we got up and we all went into, she had to wake up her roommates we got, got up and went into the bathroom. <laughs> We're just sitting there waiting, and it got it was quiet, but you could see. So it went above it, above where she lives and underneath where she lives, but it didn't. Yeah, and, it was freaky. And one of the roommate's boyfriends was over there so wasted that he couldn't yeah. get to a safe yeah. place. <laughs> yes, so he had gone out that night, and um, his girlfriend said, I'm, no, I'm not going out. Have you seen the weather? Like, it's... And she's from Oklahoma, so she's used to bad yeah. storms and stuff. But she said, oh, it's, it's um, no, I'm not going out. It's going to get bad. And he's, whoa. Well, so he went out. <laughs> so at two, I think, he, he couldn't get an Uber because all the Ubers weren't driving because of how bad it was. And um, the one that he could get was going to be $100. So he calls her. So she gets up and goes and gets him, brings him back to the apartment. <laughs> An hour later, Lainey's banging on the door to get up. He is wasted. He gets that he's, I mean, he's not saying a word. You can tell he's hurting. I mean, he what? His eyes were. So we go in the living room. We're all sitting there, and I look over, and he's eating a banana, and he's just laying down. <laughs> and I'm thinking, if a tornado comes, he's six six. I said, if a tornado comes, I don't know how we're going to drag this person yeah. into the bathroom. How would he even, if he we went into the bathroom on his own, how would he fit in there with everybody else? Well, at one time, I was sitting on the toilet, but I wasn't, like, using it. Yeah. It was, and I look up, and here he come. I didn't even know he was there. And he's standing in the doorway, and he's, like, kind of leaning. <laughs> and I'm thinking, oh, God, this boy is struggling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, luckily, it moved on. But, ooh, that was scary. Yeah, I mean, I just get just shivers thinking about you know staying in that apartment with all those people in good weather it was fine he was on inflatable mattresses and all that if he came in there it was i never saw him because it was late or he left super early for work and then the other one i never saw he came he was in the parking lot when we came because you know i don't like young people i know i can't stand the sight of a young person Oh, oh god Oh, they get so on my ugly. nerves. They're so scary. Young we, people, young people are scary. But we hold up in uh, her apart in her apartment in her efficiency. We call it her efficiency apartment because we just all three stay back in her room. Yeah, and I'm sure she was, uh, you know, so happy to have y'all there. Mm, yeah, I could tell she was ready for us to go. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because she's my daughter. Mm-hmm. She's like, okay. <laughs> but at least she's part of my daughter, so she wasn't rude. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have been rude at her age either. Y'all's face shows everything. <laughs> mm-hmm. I did ask her if y'all were on her nerves, you know, after y'all got home. She said no. Because she's mm-hmm. sweet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not all the time. She didn't say not all the time. She said not at first. Only when they talked. God, he is, ugh. Only You'd when, be on her last Only nerve. when they talked. And, and was mm-hmm. All right. So look, look at this. The time has just slipped away, Jody. Please join us again some other time. Can you come back for another I'll have to edition check my of schedule. I doubt TJ it. and Jody's house? We'd love to have I you back. I hope everyone on. enjoyed it this wouldn't year. We, I'm done. Wouldn't we love to have her back sometime, y'all? The audience says yes, but not too soon. <laughs> not too soon. All right. Mm-hmm. But you know what? Starting out another year uh, here in uh, 2022, mm-hmm. I could not even imagine anyone i would rather start another year with than you jody how many how many new years is this with us together a lot wow since it was preceded with a 19 and not a 20 right that's for sure we're ancient so our first new year together was 1993 Mm -hmm. as a dating couple yep when you really liked me and you liked me and i oh none of that has waned I'll tell you that. It's only grown. You didn't used to aggravate me as much. Oh, of course I did. And you loved it. That's the difference. You're the one that changed and got grumpy, not me. 
I've always given you a hard time, and you used to like it. <laughs> you okay, are- but anyway, do the math. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> What's the math on that? So I don't know. we had a new year when it turned 94. It was mm-hmm. our first new year together. Married. Huh? No, no, we no, no, married. no, we got mm-hmm. married in, at the end of 94. 94. So New Year 94 was our first New Year together. Remember, we went New Year's Eve with my brother and his wife, and he was big at the time. And he wore that, that Purple really, suit. it was blue. It was like a really royal blue jacket. And he was out there dancing, like rerun from, yes. from uh, <laughs> yes. what's happening. You remember? Yes. That was our first New Year's celebration <laughs> together. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that jacket had big old ass shoulder pads in it. Sure did. Yeah, you know. Uh, so, and then this is 2022. So, I mean, I'm not good at math. So, how many uh, is that? How many years have we been married? 27. Whew. Man, we've been married almost as long as Ace's wife has been on Earth. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> nice. Yeah. All righty then. <laughs> okay. Just facts, trivia facts. Okay. <laughs> We're moving on now. Jody, I love you. Don't ever change. Don't ever change. I will kick your ass if you do. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. It's TJ and Jody's house on the Radio Button Network.